Welcome to the Baseball Card Illustrated channel, where we talk about our national pastime illustrated with baseball cards. And this is Through the Mail Thursday, where we take some of the cards we pull of our cardboard heroes and send them to our favorite baseball players hoping to get the card back with an autograph. I'm Bronco, the PSA 11, and I'm pleased to announce that Kevin, the Diamond King, and I got envelopes back from three, count them three, of our favorite players in the past week. Left-handed pitcher Frank DePino enjoyed a highlight-filled career spanning 12 years spent with Milwaukee, Houston, the Chicago Cubs, St. Louis, and Kansas City. He is probably most famous for being the winning pitcher in the first night game ever played at Wrigley Field as the Cubs scored a 6-4 victory over the New York Mets. DePino also enjoyed more success against Hall of Famer Tony Gwynn than any pitcher, allowing just one hit in 20 career at-bats. In all, the reliever made 514 career appearances, winning 35 games and posting a 3.83 ERA. Four-time World Series champion Roger Craig played 12 seasons in the big leagues before embarking on a successful coaching career. The right-hander made his major league debut at Ebbets Field as he tossed a complete game three hitter for Brooklyn as the Dodgers beat Cincinnati 6-2. A master of the split-fingered fastball, Craig worked to a somewhat deceptive 74-98 career record on the mound with a 3.83 ERA. He pitched for the Dodgers, New York Mets, St. Louis, Cincinnati, and Philadelphia. As a manager, Craig posted a career record of 738 wins and 737 losses with San Diego and San Francisco. He guided the Giants to the playoffs in 1987 and the 1989 World Series and is probably best known for his hum baby rallying cry. Before I provide an update on the first giveaway in the history of the Baseball Card Illustrated channel, I wanted to show this PC item, which is a card signed by Reggie Cleveland through the mail. This brings me to a total of 14 of the 27 cards from the 1982 Donruss team set for the Milwaukee Brewers, commemorating their first appearance in the playoffs. Thank you, Mr. Cleveland. The votes are in, the totals have been tabulated, and by a 7-3 margin, the winner is Hall of Famer Paul Molitor. So we will send out this card to get signed through the mail. As soon as it comes back, we will draw the winner right here on a special Baseball Card Illustrated video. Thanks for playing, and remember, everybody that voted is eligible regardless of who you selected. We appreciate you watching, and good luck to everybody. Thank you for watching this edition of Through the Mail Thursday and to the three players nice enough to answer their mail. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a comment down below. On behalf of Kevin, the Diamond King, and our graphics guru Dylan, not to mention Roger Craig, Frank DePino, and Reggie Cleveland, I'm Bronco with the PSA 11. So long, everybody. You've been watching the Baseball Card Illustrated channel.